Hello Sketch Online users, we are back after only a few weeks, it's been pretty short time since you last saw one of these videos. This is because this new update I'm showing you actually only has two new add-ons. You can see here there's only two new add-ons, there's not even like a other new add-ons section. And despite that, these two new add-ons add big features that a lot of people have been suggesting for a really long time. So yeah, that's why Sketch Outlines version 1.41 is coming out so soon after we just got 1.40. Here are the two new add-ons that I'm going to be showing you, the first of which, Costume Editor Keyboard Shortcuts. You might be able to guess by the name, so if I enable this add-on and head on over to the Scratch Costume Editor, I can now actually change which tool I'm using using a key on my keyboard. Ta-da! Oh my god, it's magic! It's like I have to force or something. I'm going to use my Jedi Mind powers, I'm going to change the tool. I've been watching too much Star Wars lately. So yeah, let's say I, in the select tool and I need to make a rectangle, instead of going here, clicking and then dragging to create the rectangle, I can just press the R key, drag, and go back to the select tool by pressing S. So it's a lot faster, and this is especially good for those of you who are used to using keybinds in other apps like Adobe Illustrator, if you pay for that, Inkscape, and I don't know, Figma, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if anybody uses that. You can actually see what key you need to use for each tool by hovering over it and a tooltip will show up. For example, the select tool uses the S key, the reshape tool uses the A key, uh, pen is B, this is E, this is F, T, L, C, R for rectangle. These keybinds are actually the same as Turbo Whip. If I head on to Turbo Whip here in direct mode as you can see, I can actually use the exact same keybinds. I'm still trying to get used to the keybinds, I don't know them off the top of my head. But yeah, you can see it's almost identical. You can still hover over it to see what key you need to use. And that's exactly the same as it is here on Vanilla Scratch, but with Scratch add-ons. So I just enabled the next new add-on and I want to see how perceptive you are. I'm on the homepage of Scratch and there are a few clues that you might be able to tell what exactly this new add-on does. Maybe it's the slightly shorter navigation bar, the different Scratch logo, maybe the buttons over here are slightly different. Or maybe it's these old icons up here. That's right, I've successfully time traveled back to 2018 and we are now in Scratch 2.0. Whoopee! Just ignore the fact that this says 2024. Let's just pretend this says 2018. And yeah, we're back in Scratch 2.0. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is actually a new add-on. This is Scratch 3.0 to 2.0. So what I'm going to do is turn the add-on off and you can see the difference. This is Scratch 3.0, this is probably what you guys are used to. And when the add-on is on, it makes everything look like it's Scratch 2.0. 3.0, 2.0. And this add-on doesn't just affect the front page, it affects the project page. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys were around back in 2.0, but this is, wow. And as a reminder, this is what Scratch usually looks like, and this is what the add-on looks like. You can see you have the old solid green flag, the old full screen icon, the old boxy look where everything was encased in a box, and the purple buttons are now little buttons down here. And you can see the old remix icon and the views, and it affects other pages such as the explore tab. I have to show the studios tab because the product page isn't working for some reason. And here's what it normally looks like. Wow, that's a big difference. I wonder if this is nostalgic for anybody else. And it also affects the studio page, kind of. This isn't exactly what it looks like because you actually need to enable another add-on that reverts to the old studio layout back in 2.0. And if you go into Sketch add-ons and search for old studio layout, you will find this add-on. If I enable that, it will give you this layout. Here's a before with that add-on disabled and an after. And this is pretty much almost identical to what it was in 2.0. By the way, this add-on doesn't actually affect what the Scratch editor looks like. You can see I have the add-on enabled here, but if I see inside, it looks like Scratch 3.0. You can actually make the editor look like Scratch 2.0 using a bunch of the other add-ons. For example, you can use display on stage left. You can use two column category menu. You can use the customizable block shape add-on with the 2.0 presets. And finally, you can use the editor dark mode and customizable colors with the Scratch 2.0 preset, which looks a bit like this. So yeah, you can get pretty close to Scratch 2.0 in the editor. 
the scratch add-on settings page actually got a small little refresh. This is what it looks like now with version 1.41. This is what it looks like before 1.40. So this is before, and this is after. Some of the text is bigger. There's now this project player features tag, which actually moved from the scratch editor features. It used to be in here. Now it's out here. You can see it's no longer underneath here. It's its own major tag. And notably, the search bar, which used to be down here in version 1.40 and below, is now up here, more prominent and visible. So like, if you didn't know, you could search for add-ons. Well, I mean, now you know. <laughs> so that should be it for Scratch Add-ons version 1.41. There was also a few small bug fixes, but they're pretty small, so I'm not gonna mention them. So yeah, this is a pretty small update if you look at the number of new add-ons. But I mean, hey, two pretty big add-ons with features that people have been wanting for a long while. Anyways, I'm gonna go back on a nostalgia trip and just explore how Scratch 2.0 used to look. Oh my goodness. I should just let my Scratch look like this. This is actually super nostalgic for me. Or maybe I'll just play Apple instead. I'll see you next time for Scratch Outlines version 1.42, whenever that is. This has been Hexagonal. And I will see you next time.